hello friends welcome to youtube x pro channel today we'll be going to learn about three efficient function of ms word where every ms word user must know about these functions in order to make a good work productivity of his or her work in documentation preparation and maintenance as well these three functions are how to use styles where we will be able to learn how to use heading titles heading to and so on whereas through navigation pane we will be able to learn about how to shift or change the place of paragraph in the moment of blinking eye as well as replacing the wrong word without visiting each word manually on each page as well as you can make a table content in a moment without visiting on each page as well so let's start here I have prepared a document where this New Zealand seaweed is my heading for the right time being it's just in a simple format where I have used Times New Roman and word size 14 but I will let you know all these three functions in a moment so let's just have a look at the paragraphs I have prepared here from section 1 to section 5 and each containing sub paragraph as well and last two paragraphs do not contain any sub paragraphs so how we can prepare a heading through styles so friends once you visit on your word file just click on the heading before then you can see here the styles on the right top side here just click on the downward filter mode here you will find this title just click here it will make the heading title of your document and now I want this document section 1 to be heading 1 so again I click on the downward drop down and click here in heading 1 but friends now you can see here I have subheading of section 1 2 so I click on section 1 then I click on heading 2 and backspace similarly I'll do this for section 2 1.2 and for section 1.3 then click on heading 2 because I need all these section 1.3 until heading under heading 1 and now section 2 is another heading so I, this time I click on heading 1 and now section 2 has one more subheading so I click here before section 2.1 and then I click on heading 2 backspace this time section 3 is new heading so I clicked here on heading 1 and section 3 has one subheading so I click on section 3.1 and then click on heading 2 backspace last only two new headings has come up and this time you can see friends how easily I have prepared these title heading and subheading whichever comes under the heading so friends now we have to go to view and now click on navigational pane you can see here on the left side that section 1 has three subheadings section 2 has 1 2.1 section 3 has 3.1 and section 4 is another heading and section 5 is another heading these triangles you see here are due to the subheadings if you click here on the triangle it will close if you click here again it will disclose the subheadings of section 1 now if friends if I click on section 1.3 here you can see in a moment I just visit on section 1.3 I do not have to scroll page up and down I just have to click on section 1.3 and then I click end up over here so this time I'll be clicking on section 2.1 
and I end up on section 2.1. So friends, for the time being, if you think section 5 should come up above section 1, so what you can do is click on section 5 here in navigation pane, then drag it above here. You can see the black bold line here and leave it here once you dragged it. So you can see the section 5 has come up above section 1 without any cut and paste, without any copy and paste. I can change the paragraphs place and shift it from wherever I would like to have. So for the time being I put it back on its place. So you can see I have done a little simulation in for, for you to view how you can change or shift the place of paragraphs. Now friends, a further function is at some places I have written a word seaweed in paragraph. So once I write seaweed on left top side in navigation pane, you can see the seaweed has been selected at some places it used as in lowercase means small capital letter small letters at some places it has used uppercase the means capital letter but i would like to have a capital letter against each one so what i do i go to home tab click on replace and here already I have find means cv but I replaced it with capital letter C week. So what now I click on find next and you can see that it has find this one first. And now I click on replace all. So this time it has message comes up. 30 replacements were made. Do you want to continue search at the beginning? Yes okay and close it so you can see here by searching again that all the letters where s was small it has been come up now changed with capital s uppercase s so friends two functions i have told you until now how to make title how to make heading subheading and then how to correct the wrong word with replace this can be done only through once you have made title heading subheading otherwise you won't be able to find the navigational pane function over here if you don't done the heading subheading and title as well so let me click it over here and now I go to references friends I have already given page number to each page so I don't have to give it again I just have to go to references here but before that I have to click here on top of the page and then go to references go to table of contents this will show you three four formats and you can choose anyone which one you like so you can see here my table content has been made in a blink of eye without visiting on each and every page manually. Friends, these tasks are very helpful in preparing your assignments, word documentations, depending on your clerical works, or if you are preparing emails in Word, even then you can prepare your documents accordingly but this is very extremely helpful for you using styles titles headings subheadings as well as navigation pane once you go to view you can click on navigation pane here it's come under the ruler and grid lines and here you can visit on each section just with a click of button also once you visit on each paragraph you can make changes over there for instance i don't like to have 
this much data here and I just needed a full stop up afterwards and I click on save and now I click on 3.1 then I click back on 4 you can see the changes has been saved this is very handy for editing work as well I hope you like this video friends because in this video we have discussed very good functions of MS Word. Please like, share and subscribe explore YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video.